few uh, notes here I'm gonna make uh, when you buy a, a new or used tire. Uh, some of the stuff I probably already know, some of them probably you don't, but just let me point to you what do I look for when I buy a tire. Uh, of course this is 215, 60, R16, so the R is the rim, size, okay, it's uh, from here to here, from here to here, a 16 inch, 215 is the, the width of the tire, this is here, it's a 215 uh, millimeter, and the 60 is the aspect ratio, this is 60% of, uh, of, the, of the width, okay, and um, of course, uh, you pay attention to this. It says mud and snow. Okay, so this is all season tire. M plus S. This is mud and snow. Uh, most of the time, uh, the tire they put uh, on the sticker, they point out these, these uh, few things that are very important and that will make a difference in the price. The tread wear is 520, temp uh, traction and temperature. Okay, and this is a stand for... Uh, this is what, what, what they call it UTQG, stands for Uniform uh, Tire Quality Grading Standards, okay? So the higher this number, the tread wear is the better, 520, 600 of course better than 520, sometimes if you're in 480, 400, 420, uh, so this is 520 which is decent, it's okay, the traction is A, uh, force A better than B. Sometimes you find in B or AA or whatever temperature is A. You could find these these uh, explanation of these codes online to get a better idea. Uh, also, pay attention to this. Never go lower than this code 95V. Okay, the letter is the speed rating. The number is the load rating. You could go online also search for uh, tire load chart or tire speed chart you're gonna find these different numbers usually when you buy a new tire uh, when they put your car VIN number on the specific they will t the, they can pull the manufacturer recommended a load and a speed rating pay attention to this this is will make a difference also in the price okay so you go this is a b c d f g of course the letters goes up the speed goes up, same thing here, but you have to look in uh, on, 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 on Google this, you're gonna find, like I said, search for uh, speed rating or load rating chart, you're gonna know, you're gonna understand what this means, but anyway, it's not confusing, just make sure when you buy, especially if you go, you go buy used tire, don't buy less than what your car required, very important. Okay, also here it says uh, the maximum load uh, 1521 pound and also says maximum pressure of 44 psi pay attention to these um, but, uh, but if you if you just focus on this it will be good all right one more important one, especially if you buy a used tire this is says 27 21 27 means the 27th week of year 2021 this is a brand new tire all right uh, again, the first two letters, the first two numbers, the weeks, the second two numbers is the year. So this is the 27th week of 2021. This is when this tire was made. Okay, if you see this tire here, I'm going to show you the front date on this is, this is a used tire here. Okay, here it is. This is the 20th week of 2019. This tire was manufactured in the 20th week of 2019. This is very important if you're buying a used tire. You know, one tire that was built five years ago. Okay, it's so dry and it probably will crack sooner than you imagine. Uh, also, um, we covered the mud and snow, we covered the tread wear, uh, the production that I covered. And um, the load rating, now you understand it. Uh, some tires, they specify on them, it says outside. Make sure this is installed right. I've seen a lot of cars, I see this on the inside. If it says outside, that means it's outside. It's exactly what it means. Outside, that means toward, it's away from the car. The other side of the tire, if you flip it here, it's supposed to say inside. 
here it says inside okay that's very important to understand this is inside that means this is toward the car you could change it from left to right but you have to flip the tire on the rim you flip the tire they made this for a reason you have to pay attention some tires they are rotational they have an arrow like this it's it, so you have to be careful how you install it if it's rotational usually the tread it's not like this it usually have different curves for the water or for the snow whatever so some sometimes they say rota rotational if it says if it if it the water the ladder of the word rotational on the tire make sure you follow the arrow the arrow usually toward the front of the car has to be forward so this is the inside, the other side is the outside. The last thing I'm going to cover the um, the tire depth. Let me just get my uh, my tire uh, depth gauge. Okay, so this is, um, let's do this first. Okay, so this tire is in the center here. This is almost close to 9 uh, 32 second you could measure it in different part on the outside it says eight and a half almost inside it's about nine sometimes they're ten of course if they have more tread on them it's more money because more material on them some tires you buy them they have not 10 32 uh, 11 32 Especially if there are trucks, usually this is deeper. This, uh, the depth here is deeper. So this is nine. This is how it came brand new. This is the used one here. Came from a car. So this one. See, this is also have nine, even if it's used. It's almost barely used. This is nine. Nine thirty-two. Yeah, so this is very much nine. This is a brand new tire. I mean, this is used tire. I still have a lot of tread on it, which is good. So anyway, just make sure this is this is some of the stuff you have to focus on when you buy a uh, new or used tires. That will make a difference in the price. I hope I was able to help you. This is some of the information. You could just use it for your own good or your own benefits. Thank you for watching.